and barrel. So let's see uh, what they do. Uh, and let's see if, if truly they're willing to stand up uh, to their leadership. Mike? Uh, the IRA turns one uh, while you all are back home next month. I'm curious if you have any reflection on the legislation. Are there any specific provisions that you all will be messaging back home um, to really kind of reinforce uh, the, the progress that you all have made with the Inflation Reduction Act? Uh, thanks. Thanks for the question. I think, and is uh, I'll, I'll yield to to uh, Chair Nagus uh, to talk a little bit about the messaging that we plan uh, to convey during this August recess. But uh, the breadth of the bills and the legislation that we have been able to accomplish here in Congress uh, under the leadership of President Biden uh, has been huge, and the Inflation Reduction Act. Uh, is one very large piece of that. Uh, for me personally, when we go back home, uh, talking about the investments in climate, um, the dollars that are going out, uh, out into our communities uh, to help mitigate the climate crisis, investing in wildfire uh, prevention techniques and services, those are things that are, are meaningful back home in the, in the West. Uh, every member is gonna, gonna talk about different aspects of this differently, but uh, the Infrastructure and Jobs Act, the Inflation Reduction Act, Chips and Science Act, these are monumental pieces of legislation. And uh, it's important for us when we get back home to talk about them. But the one year anniversary of the Inflation Reduction Act is so impactful, uh, reducing the cost of insulin for seniors to $35. These are things that families care about. Uh, and it's our job uh, to convey them. And Leader Jeffries says this in, in this context. Uh, it's, it's, not to, it's not to praise us. It's not to say, thank you for delivering that. It's to say, trust us, because when we get the majority again, those are the types of benefits that we're going to help deliver for the American public. Chair Nagus. Well, Chairman Aguilar is precisely right. And with respect to the Inflation Reduction Act in particular, uh, members of Congress, I think you're going to see members of our caucus across the country, coast to coast, in the heartland on August 16th, uh, the one year anniversary of the Inflation Reduction Act's enactment visiting with their constituents, uh, talking about the various ways in which that particular piece of legislation has had an outsized impact on our economic growth, on creating a clean energy boom with respect to jobs, uh, the various investments that Chairman Aguilar noted that are very important for those of us in the West uh, with respect to communities like mine and, and his that are, are facing the growing threat of blooming wildfires, visiting with seniors about the $35 Insulin cap, incredibly important provision, literally life-saving for so many seniors across the country, would not exist but for President Biden's leadership and the leadership of congressional Democrats last year. So you will certainly see us uh, out and about with our uh, communities, in our communities, talking about the work that we have done and the work that we intend to continue doing uh, with their help.